Hello there and welcome to Boys and Bunting. Now, as promised, I was going to show you guys a little bit more about this chicken I made, this doorstop, um, that I think is really great fun. Uh, we use it every day because, like we said, our apartment is very, like, crooked and the doors just open by themselves and stay that way or some of the doors close by themselves and we want them to stay open. So, I made this fun little chicken. Um, now, I cannot take all the credit for this tutorial. In fact, I cannot take any credit for this because um, I found this on YouTube and it is by, wait, let me check that really quick. It's called The Funky Chicken, a quirky little character for you to sew by Debbie Shore. Now, Debbie made a great video um, on how to do this and I'm not gonna show you every little step because um, it's her tutorial, but I wanna show you that I'm gonna make mine with different fabrics this time because uh, I don't want it, want it to be the same as the last one. I want it to be um, a little bit more girly this time. So I've chosen very pinkish fabrics. Now I don't know if you can see here already. These are gonna be the wings, which are a light pink. Um, then instead of red, this time those little flappy bits are gonna be like a very hot dark pink color. Um, I don't know what these are called, probably because I'm foreign. No, it's not because I'm foreign, because I also don't know what they're called in Dutch. Anyway, it doesn't matter. The beak. And my cute little fabrics. Let me see if I can show you that. Now, I, me or Matt bought this fabric probably about five years ago in Hamburg, uh, when we just got our first sewing machine. And I believe these fabrics are by a company called Tilda. And... I don't think they make this particular one. It was very popular because I saw this coming back in lots of tutorials. I love it. I just found out that I still had a scrap of this left, so I was really excited about it. But it also means I have to be really neat and careful because these are the last bits that I have, so I don't want to mess it up. But um, enough talking. I'm going to get started and I'm going to show you little bits and pieces of when I'm making it. I'm also going to make a photo, uh, not tutorial, but just like a blog post where I'm going to show you all the little steps of what I did and um, show you how I made this one. So, bear with. Now the first thing she tells us to do is to um, attach the wings to the squares of fabric. Um, now, in my case, it's important that, because uh, the fabric has a pattern that is in a certain direction. Um, so this is the top and this is the bottom, so I'm going to put my wing with a straight edge on this side. And I'm just going to sew it on with a zigzag stitch. I'm not pinning anything, because this is very, uh, I mean, it's not really perfect. But it's going to stay in place, because the felt sort of sticks onto the fabric already. Um, a little zigzag, zigzag stitch um, on this side, and I'll do the same for the other piece of fabric. Zigzag. ends off. And there we go. That's the first wing attached to the fabric. Now it's pretty centered. I think that looks good. So let's do the second one. And that's number two. All right, let me just snip these last ends off. And at the beginning as well. Now, I'm not the neatest sewer in the world, so, um, like, I probably started my stitch a little bit too early. But, you know what, as long as it's attached, I think it's perfect. So, there we go. First two are done. Alright, now, as you can see, I've um, added the little details, the, the beak and everything, to the, the first square. It doesn't really matter on which one you do this, because the other one is just going to cover it and it'll become one piece anyway. Um, so I've not pinned anything yet. I'm just going to put this part onto there and then I'll, I won't pin it, but I'll use these very handy, let me go look at one. I'll use these ones, which I think are great and I'll just pin them all together. Well, clip them together and start sewing my way around. 
the edge. I just have to check because I don't believe I sew completely around. But um, yeah, this is just a little update on my progress. All right, so I'm almost done with my uh, chicken. And now this is the moment I enjoy the most. So I've sewn um, all the way around. And because the shape of the chicken, you sew four, uh, three sides and then the last one you keep open, you fold it the other way uh, closed. Don't know how to explain that really. So these sides were all like folded flat like this and in the last opening you just pull open and pull the sides back together and then you sew a line here. And you leave an opening in there so that you can turn it inside out, which is what we're gonna do now. And I think it's always very exciting. So you see if everything was like caught in the right place. And and I always leave the hole very tiny because I don't like hand sewing at the end. Um, I might actually sew it with the machine. But um, we'll see. Anyway, it's a bit of a fidgety um, situation. I already see a little piece. Now where is the face? No face yet. I'm gonna need like a, a knitting needle or crochet hook later to get all the pointy bits out. And there we go! That is almost done. Um, literally all that needs to be done now is the eyes and the stuffing um, and putting the... So I first put in all the like soft stuffing to get the shape I want and then I'll fill it up with sand. So I'm gonna keep going with this and I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. All right guys, I'm finally finished. Um, I'm by no means a very neat um, or tidy crafter. Um, it's not that I'm unorganized, it's just I make a big mess because um, I'm so excited about finishing my project that I um, will not tidy up until I'm done. Um, I don't know what you guys do, maybe you're very neat and organized, but uh, I rather just tidy everything up at the very end. I don't like it, but I have to, um, especially before Matt comes home from work, needs to be tidy. Um, so, enough rambling, here is Chicken! I'm so excited about it, I think she looks really cute. She did turn out a little bit bigger than I wanted. Um, I didn't really calculate my square size very well. I was like, okay, because I've got like my, like uh, the line where I stitch will be a little bit far from the side and then I'll turn out much smaller than I uh, started with, but she's very big. Um, at least she'll stop the door very well. Um, and I just think, you know what? I like her more than I like the old one. Um, I guess because the old one I literally took no time at all. I didn't check if the fabrics looked nice together or I was just like, I have to make this, have to make this. Uh, new apartment, um, I need a doorstop. So this one is much better um, and she's really cute and she's just really, really big. So she's the big mama. She's very pinky and cute and girly, um, but she's very functional and she's gonna stop the doors. So I'm just rambling, I'm gonna stop now because um, I'm finished, gotta tidy up, and I need to write a blog post. So, and I need to go to the gym. Let's not forget about that. Anyway, I hope you like me watching me make this. I didn't show too much, but I did want to show like, because pictures don't always show enough, and I wanted to make a cute little video of this project. So there we go, chicken, doorstop. Go check out the video like I mentioned in the beginning. I always post a link at the description of this video to the actual tutorial on how to make this. And then you too can make your own little chicken doorstop or big chicken doorstop. Thanks for watching. Bye!